Congressman Rigel, Scott, Forbes, and Whitman, it's great to have the Hampton Roads support here today, and it's wonderful to see all of you. Distinguished guests uh, who have already been mentioned, and especially Ms. Donna Willard. Fellow flags, supporters from California, and supporters of the California, and most appropriately, sailors of the California. You know, in sports, you always wonder, um, how do you, who do you pick to build a team around? And you look around and you say, they talk about the quarterback, the, the left fielder, the home run hitter, whatever it is. Well, if you want to build a ship around a sponsor, you got the right one, and Donna Willard. If I were captain again, Donna would be at the top of my list. That's who I want to be my sponsor. Because you know what? She's got a pretty good supporting cast for this endeavor. Why? She's got a four-star admiral who is her flag aide, flag secretary, and not a bad executive assistant. We'll see how the pictures turn out before we say good photographer. That is yet to be seen. I'm not sure if he met that mark. But I said, Donna, you know, Bob and Donna, we've known them for a long time. I said, how, how has your marriage lasted so long? And she said, the bottom line is Bob's trainable. And I think that's, <laughs> that's carried us quite a bit. So uh, Admiral Richardson took a lot of the words out of my mouth, and that's a good thing, because sometimes you just don't have a lot to say. A year ago, about a year ago, on the 6th of November, I was the vice CNO then, and I got up on the podium and said, all right, you guys, Moharan, we want this thing delivered on time and on budget. We need the submarines. I need to own the undersea domain. That's what we're about. Well, they did it. And they did it, obviously, under budget and under time. And Matt, my hat's off to you. Captain, off, my hat's off to the crew. So I didn't know I was going to be the CNO then. And as I was thinking about what's important out there, we've got some real fiscal challenges coming up. But more importantly, we have challenges around this world as our strategy kind of emerges from this land wars that we have to really what could very well be a maritime future out there. And I said, you know, we got to think about war fighting first. Well, that's what we're doing today. We got to operate forward. That's what we're talking about doing today. And we've got to be ready. And that's what we're talking about happening today. And we've got to own the undersea domain. I wrote all this down. Little did I know I'd be standing here before you in the waning days of October having such a, a wonderful piece of American sovereignty that we can take out and get the job done. And above all, in the future, we have got to be judicious with the resources that the taxpayers give to us. Well, that's what this symbol is today. So not a bad day in all respects. But I'm still wondering, some of you may think, is this a christening or a commissioning? And have they taken stealth to a whole new level? Where is this thing? I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> but she'll be deployable anywhere. Her sister ships have proven that today. They are out there on the front line, and nothing, nothing out there surpasses their performance. They are a technical marvel. But what they're all about, standing out here behind you, the sailors who volunteer to serve. I look forward to you guys excelling out there. Your actions reflect your proud heritage and your tradition. I'm proud of you, and I'm proud to serve with you as we go forward together in the terms that Admiral Richardson laid out for you. Thank you all for serving, and I thank your families who support you and enable you to serve to do the job that you do. It's my pleasure now to introduce Chairman Buck McKeon. He's a native of California, and this is an individual who knows innovation, but yet he's very approachable. He calls his website his online office. He has a Let's Talk page. He encourages interaction through e-news e letters, text messages, Facebook. He Twitters, and he's big on the YouTube as well. In short, he's for the people, and he's really connected to the people. He's known for boundless energy. I've seen it time and again. He's a reformer, and he enhances all of us in the work that he does. He's improved teacher quality and accountability. He knows where our seed corn is. He's done higher education, made higher education accessible to his constituency and affordable. And as chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, he is truly committed to those of us, all of us, that serve. 
He's been strong on defense. He's strong on servicemen and strong on servicewomen. And he said, I will never jeopardize the safety of our men and women in uniform. Yet he, too, he does ensure that those of us charged with the use of taxpayers' dollars are judicious with the use of the funds. And lastly, like many of us, he married up when he married Patricia. Family with six kids and 35 grandchildren, that is a family man. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm welcome here in Norfolk for this wonderful commissioning. Welcome Chairman Buck McKeon.